You all love Scum's previous MCW build, but then there was an update which shifted the meta and actually buffed the MCW, which then Scum did update his build to fit the current meta, and let me tell you, this thing's nasty. Okay, ladies and gents, so Scum's build is very nasty. You guys are going to see there is so much range on it, but I do have a better build in my opinion. I even saw some pro players using a very similar build, and so if you guys do want that build, I will be giving it to you after the Scum build, but for the Scum build, the first attachment he is going to be adding and basically Basically, you know, this is going to be on every single MCW. This is going to be the MCW Cyclone Long Barrel, which this one is going to severely boost up that damage range, add a lot of stability, and so overall, it's going to make the weapon very stable. Yes, it does have a lot of cons, but a lot of those cons are just for the hip fire spread and the tactical stance spread, which those two things really don't matter that much compared to all the pros that we are getting. We are going to be getting an increase of 21.3% for the damage range, and so now the effective damage range, it's going to start to take more shots to kill at 32.3 meters and then it's not going to take any more shots to kill after 54.8 meters plus we do get a severe boost to the bow velocity which was the buff on this weapon now this thing has one of the best bow velocities in the game it's going to feel like hit scan it's going to feel great you guys are going to see you are going to be beaming across the map next thing you guys want to do is add the high grain rounds which i was a little bit confused why skump would want to add the high grain rounds but you know it is skump and you know he usually knows best so the bow velocity and damage range that we are getting an increase to so now the effective damage range is going to be 37 meters which honestly is great then the minimum damage range is 63 so literally we have one of the best ranged weapons in the game yes we are going to be losing a little bit of our recoil control which a little fun fact most of you guys already know this but so the recoil control it starts at one degree if you finish building your gun and the recoil is above one degree that means there is more recoil than the base weapon if it's below one degree that means there's going to be less recoil than the base weapon. Now with Scum's build, yes, we have so much range. The bow velocity is over a thousand meters per second, but um, our recoil control is going to be a little bit worse on the gun, which is why he is going to be going over to the stock, and then he's going to be adding the RB Regal Heavy, which this one adds a lot of gun kick control. I believe the gun kick control basically smooths out the recoil overall, making it a little bit easier to control. Then for that recoil control, we're going to get a 23% increase, I mean a 13% uh, increase for the horizontal as well as a 13.5 percent increase for the vertical basically mitigating all the cons that the high grain rounds are giving us and so now we have so <coughs> So now we have so much range and we have so much recoil control allowing you to easily beam the enemies. Yes, we are losing a decent amount of our mobility. Our ADS speed now is going to be 248 milliseconds, but you know, it is an AR and he is a little bit of a slower. Well, okay. When you're using an AR, you kind of want to hold angles. You don't want to rush too much. And I believe he was using this in the tournaments, which you don't really play too aggressive with an AR in the tournaments. And so this build overall works very good against the best players in the world. The next attachment we are going to be adding is the claw grip this one's going to add a lot of firing aiming stability which that stability very important a lot of people don't think it's that important but basically that stability is going to be your sway and so now this thing isn't going to sway as much as we're firing so then we'll have a more predictable recoil pattern that's not going to be as unpredictable it's not going to really sway as we are firing the weapon making it very very easy to use yes we're losing aiming idle sway but we're getting a lot of firing aim stability which is the important thing every call of duty game you would always have a little bit of sway and then recently now you'll have like sway and then you have sway as you're firing your weapon previously that sway would stop when you start to fire your weapon if that makes sense and so now with uh, all the recoil control you guys are going to see in the games you're going to be beaming like crazy and so that means this last attachment is going to be a personal preference thing if you want to increase the mobility just making this thing feel a lot more fluid then i would go over here and i would add the olev laser which when you uh when this when competitive play does come out the lasers i believe are banned and so if you want to use this building competitive you won't really be able to use the laser but in the meantime if you want a lot of mobility i would definitely rock that laser it's going to make this thing crazy since we have so much damage range we actually can run the trl4 saber compensator which this one is going to add a lot of horizontal recoil control and you're going to notice on this gun there is a little bit of horizontal recoil making it a little bit harder to use i noticed after about 15 20 shots that's when the horizontal kicks in so if you do run this muzzle it's going to eliminate that horizontal making this thing even easier to use yes we are losing a little bit of our damage range but you know we already have so much damage range that it's really not going to matter whatsoever losing a little bit more ads speed but you guys are going to see it's definitely worth it to try out running a muzzle this is another very very 
very good build a, a uh, underbarrel that I, I see a lot of people running this is going to be the vertical the skeletal vertical this one's gonna add a lot of mobility like we get that ads speed and the sprint of fire increase plus we get a lot of vertical recoil control yes we are losing a little bit of horizontal so that is a little bit annoying which is gonna kind of tie into the class i'm gonna show you after scumps the one that i like a little bit more so this one we get a 6.5 percent increase to the ads speed and about four percent for that sprint of fire basically mitigating a lot of the cons that we are getting with these other attachments right here's another very good build if you want to increase the ammo count i recommend adding the 40 round mag 60 does make the thing a little bit heavy it's pretty fun but it's a little bit heavy 20 round obviously too short the 40 rounds gonna allow you to spawn trap and just go absolutely crazy since it does take a couple extra shots in this game to kill the enemy so that does come in clutch by the way do you want everything in modern warfare 3 but you're just a little too busy then i would definitely check out guapsi guapsi is a very reliable company where they will play in your account to unlock whatever you want definitely check them out and see what they have to offer i'll have their link in the description but the attachment that Scump is going to be running is a optic. The optics I recommend you guys to stick between is going to be the Slate Reflector, maybe the Chrono Mini Pro, but late, I mean the Chrono, yeah, the Chrono Mini Pro. Lately though, I've been really liking the Slate and the one that Scump is running is the MK3. I love this sight. This feels like an ELO from maybe like Advanced Warfare. I could be completely wrong on that though. This one, oh my days, yo, it makes this thing just so smooth so satisfying you guys are gonna absolutely love this build so if you guys do want a screenshot of the class here you guys go which another build that i actually like a lot more and i've seen pro players run is basically the same thing you want to keep the cyclone barrel the heavy stock the clock and then the optic these four attachments are going to be a must on basically every mcw build but if you guys do want actually no i think uh the rear grip doesn't matter as much it's just the stock the reflector and the cyclone so if you guys want you can go over to the multi and then you guys can go ahead and add that muzzle I was telling you guys to add before the TRL4 Saber Compensator. This one is also a very good one. Shout out to my buddy Addicts. He showed me this one. This one is insane. It adds so much vertical recoil control. Yes, there's a little bit more horizontal on the gun, but this one's very fun to use. But overall, I do like the Saber a little bit more. And then I believe I took off the rear grip. I might have taken off the... No, I for sure kept the stock. And then I go over to the underbarrel and then I am going to add the vertical. So now we get a lot of vertical recoil control and we have a lot of horizontal recoil control plus having just overall a lot of range on the weapon especially after that buff and so i've seen pro players use this exact build ads speed is still pretty good because a lot of those cons are being mitigated with the vertical grip that we are getting i feel like most people will actually like this build more than scum's build but keep in mind you know scum's build is still scum's build that thing is crazy which i dropped some crazy mgbs in the gameplay if you guys want to get better at the game i would definitely check those out for the second i'm rocking i'm rocking the renetti i know i did say i'm gonna get the conversion kit on there i just need to remember to do that uh the pros don't run the 24 round mag but they run all these other attachments and the reason that pros don't run a suppressor is because that's ga that's like banned in their competitive matches so you'll never see pros using suppressors uh for the tactical i recommend the stim for the lethal i have the double semitex which you can get that by adding the demolition vest this is very fun to use on like hard point or basically in any mode you can just chuck two nades at people you see a big group of people chuck a nade behind them chuck a nade in front of them boom you get so many kills very very easily uh just randomly if you guys do want to keep uh if you guys want to keep a uh, suppressor on your build i would run the shadow strike and then i would have the skeletal or you could take off the underbarrel then go add more recoil control it's a little bit weird when you do try to add a suppressor to your build for the gloves i am going to be adding the assault gloves this allows you to jump shot and just be accurate while you're jump shotting scavenger would have came in clutch and then um the ordinance gloves are pretty helpful if you are running demolition since you can just you know throw things farther and you just overall you know you're just like a tom brady with your grenades for the boots i am running covert sneakers so then the enemies can't hear my footsteps and lastly i am rocking the eod so i don't have to worry about nades although the ghost once i do unlock the ghost i will probably be rocking this a lot since you know everybody spam on uavs now let's get into the nasty gameplay is this the mc build from the other video a new update this is a brand new one drew i was gonna make my own build but scum made a brand new one and a lot of people seem to like those ones so that's why i want to do that Jason, let's drop 150 kills, chat. I have never dropped the... Fuck! I've never dropped the nuke on this map. Let's see if we can get one right now. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you... Then he drops the pancake. No, Julie, that... I've never done... I've never even made a pancake. Well, the, how do you make pancakes? Bro, better get a nuke. Oh, I'm about to drop a nuke in, in you. <laughs> Ouch. 
I swear there's a man around me. Yo, this thing beams! Yo, thank gosh this thing beams! Yo, chat, these guys are really good. I gotta watch out. This is gonna be a really tough nuke. Dude, they're all spawning around me. They're all spawning around me. I don't know what to do. Shit. Shit. Oh my god. Oh, the... Wait, I've never used this before. Okay, boys. Let's see how good this streak is. I've never used it in my life. You guys thought I was going to run into that. You guys thought I was going to die by on my own streak. You guys thought. <laughs> Yo, that thing's ass. I got one kill. How many kills did that take to get? Run off the advanced UAV. Okay, advanced UAV. Let's go. Yo, estate might be the best map in the game, boys. Okay. State might be the best map. New best map. Let's go. Yo, Hugo's like, God damn, these guys are really good. Nah, Sun, Sun, like, they're all running around. It's just they're so fast. It's like the game can't keep up with them. So it looks like they're just frozen. You know? Trust, trust. Okay, boys, we're going to keep this going. We're going to keep spawn chopping them. We're going to chuck a nade over that. going to chop a nade over that. Yo, dude, we're so good at times. We're going to come up behind them. We're going to come on their backs. Just like Skump would. That's where I get my inspiration from. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, so, okay, but you want to play pubs. We'll, we'll see. I could do a pull, or you could probably do both. <laughs> Buddy thought. Bro, I thought they were going to die yesterday. Okay. Dude, I, you know, I've never actually played the hard point on this map. So I don't know any of the hard points. Like, this is brand new to me. Sometimes I won't play on a certain map for a bit. So then when I do go to play on it, it feels like a new game. Or like a new map. So, like, I've been avoiding this map and derail for this moment, basically. These guys all gone? Oh, Scum's class is good. But, chat, first time ever using it. And we're doing pretty good. I'm going to get off the floor. I'm going to make a community post just for cock. Is that man? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, boys. We're on the 25. It's going to happen. Chad, the reason Skump doesn't run a suppressor on his build... Is because suppressors are G8 in competitive play. Bro, there's a sniper back here. There's a sniper and I don't like that sniper. I feel like he's going to dome my ass. And I'm going to die like one off the nuke. Chad, this could be for 41 nukes on the game if I get this. I could play more aggressive, but Chad, I have no ammo. I literally have 17 bullets. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Wait, the Facebook video popped? Oh, no, 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 no. Reese, I, I did post it to you. I, I did. It's It's in the folder. Go into the editing practice folder and SV is in there. You'll, you'll see it. You'll see it, big, you big bozo. I think I heard, swear I heard someone. Bro, he's really fucking good. Oh my god. That guy was probably the best player I've ever seen. Okay. They're all spawning over here. I'm getting packet burst. I'm about to get a nuke. We just got the munitions box. Let's go, boys. These are the CDO maps. You think of this one, Kaber? You think the estate's going to be CDO one? Imagine. Ah! MG motherfucker MB! Yo, leave a like! Subscribe with the noties on for Scum's MCW nuke. Let's go, boys. Now we play aggressive. Because, you know, we got the nuke in the bag. And now we got to get the bag on the enemy. Shit, shit, shit. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. No, I'm not. They're really bad. Wait, no. I'm sorry. They're really good. Stop stunning me. Reloading. 
Oh, chat, I'm feeling it now. And I'm still warming up with this build. I didn't think we were going to get the nuke first try. So I didn't even get a chance to really warm up with the build yet. Oh, yeah, buddy. You think you're better than me? And Nah, dude. I got bigger junk than you, bitch. Yo, Renetti's so good now that they buffed it. I love the Renetti. It's just too nasty, boys. Yo, the 37. It hurts for me to type warm to people, so I'm just going deleting your messages. Wait, Voodoo, if it's not for you, we do have recent stuff too, so... We actually don't even, like, you know... I have extra mods in case, like, people are sick or something, or, you know, just people aren't here. So you're all good, Voodoo. You don't gotta worry about anything. You can just let Reese do everything. Oh! Dude, he's so bad that he got me. I thought he was a chair. I thought that dude is literally a chair. Whoa, Goofy, Goofy. We don't swear in here. Don't say the word come. We do not swear in here. Um, okay. I played five games. I forgot what I was watching. What do you mean we forgot what you were watching, Stone? That guy is literally a cabinet. <laughs> I got EOD on. I got EOD and I'm dying by nades. Okay, yo, boys. I think we need a better nuke. I feel like we need a more satisfying... No, 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 no. This one will be satisfying. Watch. This one will be really satisfying. He thought he could run away from me. I'm just, I need to get these guys into a spawn trap. Like, see? The best spawn trap I can get. Are they spawning over here? Nah, I think they're all spawning over here. Let's see this, boys. One sub off 84k? Wait, chat. Yo, we're one sub off 84,000 subscribers, chat. Oh, my God. Shit. Oh, the spawns are flipping. This is not good. <laughs> Okay, so at range, this gun doesn't feel that good, but it's just because all guns <laughs> are the best in this game at range. Dude, stop! Coming up behind me! Stop, please! You're chalking my gameplay. <laughs> Yo, we hit 84k? <laughs> Ws. <coughs> Ws, shall we just hit 84k? Oh my god. <coughs> Bro, these stuns? Dude, these guys gotta get a life. I hate these stuns. I hate them. Yo, Chris, what's up, Chris? Yo, Chris, I like how your name starts with the C, man. Where are these guys at? I need to control the map a little bit more. I know. See, we're, we're getting put in the blender against really bad players, but it's because we're just running around having fun. But now it's time to, you know, focus up and start beaming. Beaming like crazy. 84K pull-ups? Dude, then I would really be Dwayne Johnson. I don't think Dwayne Johnson can do that many. I know Latin could. Then I would actually be Latin. I'd be a log one. Shit. Shit. That's probably so zesty. I'm sorry. Carpet bomb. Oh, get ready, boys. I'm about to drop my carpet on them. Yeah, see, chat. That's why I like fast time. I mean, long time to kill. Because I don't die. I don't die from that. You know, we can stay alive through all that. Bro, I'm never running the carpet bomb again. That thing is horrible. No way. I had to spend that many kills to get nothing. What the hell, dude? I want to run a veto, too. But I, you know, I gotta do my armory unlocks. Oh my days, boys. Yo, this is such a fun game. Best cut that we've ever had. Honestly, chat, I think it's my, my favorite Call of Duty of all time. Totally not honeymoon phase at all. Bro, dude, that wood doesn't hold up anything. Jason, I like in this game, play Jason Andrew Corp. Best firearm shop in the world. Yo, Jason, you want to do a brand deal? Here, I'll do a brand deal, Jason. And then, you know, for a Glock. For a home protection. Okay, Chad, now we throw this. Now we're about to get another nuke. About to get the double nuke for Scump. Oh, Nathan, the, this lobby? Uh, once you get really good at the game, it puts you in this lobby. Which is a really good lobby. Bro, okay, not gonna- Oh, shit, chat, you know I just realized? You know why it's been a little bit harder for me to hit my shots? 
I changed my FOV for like a thumbnail. And so I'm on 120 FOV when I haven't been on 120 in forever. And so I'm like, why is it a little bit harder to hit my shots? Like, why do I feel a little bit out of practice? Like, I just don't feel as fluid as usual. But it's because my FOV changed. No wonder. No wonder, chat. That makes sense. Like, chat, if I switch my FOV, I'll be beaming right now. Watch this, chat. I'm done, bro. Sorry, just not in the mood today. Okay, bro. If you ever need to talk to someone, I'm always here. Well, I don't always respond because I just don't always see it, but I'm always here for you, Kaber. I'm always here for you. You're always in my brain, Kaber. Kaber, I love you, man. One one day, one day we will meet and I'll give you a big hug. Yeah, me and your YT will get shut down. The liberals and YT no liking me. Oh, shoot. Wait, no. I think I can do firearm brand deals. I think so. What the fuck are you doing? Are you fucking wood? Are you chopping wood? What the hell is this, man? No way you're a real player. You know what? You deserve to get nuked because you killed me off my double nuke. But that was basically a double nuke. I'm not going to count it, but I'm going to count it as a double nuke. You know, in the video, I'm going to be like, I dropped a double nuke and then another nuke because I don't give a shit, dude. Let's go, boys. On a state with the scumpy build. Oh, yeah. Get nuked, bitch. Motherfuckers chopping wood in the middle of war. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Hey, get nuked, bitch. Yeah. Time for pull-ups. Custom games are pretty fun. If you enjoy those, do them a decent amount on the streams in my game. It seems very loud. Okay, my ears were leaving. You know, I accidentally played on like... Oh, yo, this thing beams. I accidentally played on like too high of a volume for too long. And I started getting like tinnitus, I think it's called. Like basically where your ears start ringing. I had one of my ears ringing for a really long time. And so now I'm trying to be very like aware and sensitive of my ears. So, you know, that's just a lesson for you guys. Just make sure you take care of your ears. Because that tinnitus was so annoying. Everything would be fine. And then all of a sudden, I would just hear... Well, no, constantly, I would just hear, like, a ring. And I was like, no, I don't want to hear this ring. It's annoying. Like, it's not that bad. I'm getting used to it. But it was just like, in my ear, like... It was just annoying. Okay, yo, we got a lot of enemies over here. I should reload my gun, but it's only two enemies. And I think I can take them out pretty easily. Yo, what the... Yo. What is going on? What is going on right now? Where are these guys coming from? Wait, is that what she said? Whew. Okay. Now we go back down here. We're just going to keep rotating around. Those guys didn't see where I was at. I didn't know if they had like a boyfriend come up behind them. So that's why I sat back for a second. So I actually prefer Scump's old build a little bit more. Whoa, am I lagging? Oh, the pack of burst again. Yo, they got to fix the pack of burst in this game. I get so much pack of burst. Let me know in the comments if you get like pack of burst every game. Because I swear every game I constantly have pack of burst. I don't know if it's just like a visual glitch. But it actually feels like I got pack of burst too. Which is pretty annoying. So we got a lot of the enemies over here. Dude, we're missing shots. I can't wait to use this thing in ranked and start getting you ranked gameplays. That's going to be so fun. Rank comes out in season one, so it comes out pretty soon. Boom, you dead. And then we got the advanced UAV up too. This is going to be super helpful. Now we know where the enemies are spawning. We all know there's a whole stampede of them over here. A bunch of Berthas. And they're not really moving too. And I'm just getting so much pack of burst. There's a guy right there. What are you changing the trash, buddy? What are you doing? What are you? Yo, first game on, and I swear I'm lagging. Like it just doesn't feel smooth. We got the 71 ping. So I'll tell you guys about some internet things after this game. I I have a couple questions for you guys. I already kind of like made my decision on it, but I think it's always good to check in with more people about it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I sold on that one so hard. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna try to do this as I'm dropping the nuke. Basically. I got Verizon and Xfinity. Those are the only two places that offer internet in my area. And Xfinity is 93 a month, but I can have my phone plan on there for free. Verizon is about 120 if I were to have my phone plan and the internet together, which there's always bundled deals. So whichever internet I go with, I just like, you know, attach my phone with it. The difference is, is with Xfinity, I have about eight or 900 download and my ping is usually... Uh, somewhat lower. It's usually about like 60. And then with Verizon... Oh, but then the upload is only about 40. And the upload is very slow. Like, I try to... Yo, these guys are really good at the game on my days. 
Yo, I don't even know if I can upload this. That guy was just so brain that I should be able to drop five nukes in here. We got a god lobby. I am so happy right now. Let's freaking go, boys. Oh, my days. And, you know, I, I feel like a lot of players will be like, oh, these players aren't that good. You're not really showing off the weapon. Not nah, trust. Watch. When I when I go to play rank play, oh, my days. We're about to be getting crazy games. And so, like I was saying, Xfinity has like 900 download, but then like 40 upload. And then Verizon has like 400 download with 75 upload but then my ping is usually a little bit higher too yo dude we are oh my days we are shredding these enemies we're on a 27 try to get the mgb first game on yo spmm loves us today oh my days let's go and so right now i'm using ver oh but then verizon's like 120 so basically it has a slower download and a higher ping but then we have a faster upload oh and that's the mgb let's freaking go boys Yo, leave a like, subscribe with the noties on. Let's freaking go, boys. Easy nukes. Actually, easy nukes. That was probably one of my easier ones. I got kind of lucky with this lobby. And so then, like I was saying, I don't know which one to go with. So far, when I use Verizon, I swear my thing lags more. And I'm getting a lot of packet bursts right now. And my ping is up at 70. Yes, the upload's a little bit faster. But then the download's faster on the other one. And... Uh, you know, I think I'm going to go with the Xfinity because the Xfinity is about 93 a month. This one would be like 120 a month. And I'm like kind of lagging in game, which I can have like a professional come out here and like professionally set up everything, which, you know, I think I already set it up in the best way it could possibly be set up. But that's like a hundred dollars. I'm like, you freaking scammers. And I was on like the little chat bot with them for so many hours. No way, no way, no way, no. Oh, let's go. I don't even and then we get nuked like that so you know what buddy i'm about to drop my nuke on you but i'm gonna see if i can get drop one more nuke and so i was like on the chat bot with them for so many hours it was so annoying and we just got literally nowhere and when i was on the phone with them previously they said that my upload should be like 300 in my area and it was like 70 i was like yo what the hell is this and then slower download and it was just overall just like you know so sad and i'm so happy i got this mgb first try that's the best feeling as a youtuber like when you go to hop on and you get your gameplay first try. You get that nice low SBMM since it's your first game on. Boom, let's go. Yeah, see, Packer Burst right now, it's actually making my game feel a little bit like not as responsive. Like, I feel like I'm missing shots and things because of that. Since usually I'm a little bit more on target. Yes, it's my first game on, but something just feels a little bit laggy and jaggedy. But if you want to have your two cents on this, let me know in the comments which internet you would go with. I'm assuming everyone would choose the Xfinity one. Or if you have any bad stories with Xfinity or Verizon, let me know. So far, my, my, I've had a pretty bad experience with the Verizon. Just because their, their chatbot is so slow. Oh, and then I was complaining about it on Twitter. Or kind of, I was actually asking people about it on Twitter. And then I was complaining a little bit. And Verizon support responded. And I was like, okay. How about you guys give me a happy ending? Which is like, you know, a hand job when you're getting a massage. I was like, how about you guys give me a happy ending as I'm gaming? And I'll go with you guys. And then they literally popped up with like a meme saying like peace like yeah we we agree i'm like no way here i'll put it up on screen right now that shit was so funny and here i'll put up another thing up on screen this is the actual meta class that's gonna be the rank play meta i don't know how much of that i can show on youtube but it is so funny dude oh my days that shit popped off on twitter yo we are going crazy i kind of want to fuck off stop with the nades guys calm down no, no stop throwing nades like, I understand why you guys are throwing nades, but fuck off. Oh, I don't like these guys at all. I want to take off this optic and add like a 45 round mag. And then, you know, you just got unlimited ammo. But this is Scumpy's build. I will give you guys like my own build for this thing pretty soon. Actually, I think I did give you guys my own build in the class setup. That build with the vertical grip, that one is so disgusting. I really like that one. And I hope these enemies can make a comeback because that means I should be able to get an MGB, like another one, since we'll have so much more time. And then also the enemies are going to think they're going to win, but then they're actually going to lose. No! Oh, the, the stuns! Oh, so annoying, dude. Oh, no. We died. It's okay, though. I still think we can get one more MGB. We're only at 51 kills right now. We're really carrying our team. Let's see if I can really pop off, though. Come on. Come on. Oh. You guys are running in different ways. One guy's going to the new hard point. The other guy's not. They're probably both waiting on both sides of me. Okay. 
target area. Counter UAV is being a fuel. RTB at this time. So we got a couple guys in there. I'm gonna throw that. I would love if we had in the game a perk called Quick Fix. Or just like, you know, some fast hands or something. Maybe there is a fast hands. I just haven't really seen it anywhere. Like, dude, I'm trying to throw my equipment faster. And I'm trying to do things a little bit. Oh, I think, yeah, I think one of the grips is like fast hands. But the assault gloves make it so you can like jump shot and play aggressively. And still have very good accuracy and things. Boom, you dead. Oh, yo, we are fragging. I'm going to try to maybe get top 250 the first season. The only thing with that is that it takes a lot of play time. So I'll for sure hit, hit like iridescent. I don't know about top 250 because of all the play time. Because, you know, iridescent isn't too difficult when you play this game almost every day. Okay, I think it's time to call on this NGB. We're kind of starting to beam now. I'm getting a little bit more warmed up. My hands are still freezing. Like, this is literally my first game on of the entire day. Which is just like, I got an MGB first game on. That's that's great. Okay. Uh, let's keep this guy in the hard point. I'm going to have the other enemies push me. And hopefully I don't draw any attention towards this guy. The enemies are going to think that the hard point's safe. But little do they know, there's a fish over here. Boom. Boom. Look at that. Oh, my days. If you haven't seen my settings video, I would definitely check that out if you want the best settings in the game. I did a lot of research on it. Hello? Bro, they're so mad. But I don't know where they're at. Yeah, one guy on the hard point. I'm trying to slide, and the game's like, you know what? No sliding today. And you know what? We're going to throw this equipment very slowly. Come on, I need these enemies to make a comeback so then they think they're winning. That's like my favorite thing. They're playing and they think they're going to win the game, but nah, they're about to get nuked. I feel like I should never even die in this lobby, but boom, you dead. You dead. Oh. Bro, something's off. You know, I'm just going to call in this MGB. My internet feels weird. I'm going to switch back over to the Xfinity router. I got them both set up. Something's a little bit off. Like, my aim is just super off, and it's never like this. It can be, I can literally not play Call of Duty for a whole year, and my aim will be better, and my movement will be better than it is right now. Like, I swear, I'm lagging a little bit. Something's a little bit off, but we got the MGB. Let's freaking go, boys. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get the best, most updated glasses. Let's go, boys. Hey, yo. What happened, boys? Oh, he got nuked. 69 kills. Let's go, boys.